Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Okay. Um, going to start by sharing the screen and then calling the names. All right, here we go. Okay, when you hear your name, please let me know. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Lenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome, Baudilio. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Adán Iglesias ya está por acá. Welcome. Ahí presente, teacher. Welcome. Ok, Carlos Edgardo Cruz, ¿no? Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome, Edith. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Welcome, Enrique. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristide Soya Ruiz. Present teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Presente, teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you, José. José Valentín Rivera por ti. Rivera López, perdón. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrasaba el Calderón. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes. Llegando por... Okay. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Karen. María de Lourdes, Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening, María de Lourdes. María Magdalena Cedillo González. María Good Magdalena. Good present. Welcome, María Magdalena. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome, Saúl. Uh, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, Wilber. I'm going to call. Uh, I'm going to call uh, the names again. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, Arles. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. 
Present the teacher. Welcome, Franklin. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Ok, llamaré asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, módulo 1. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number 7, and today is August the 7th of 2023. Espero todo hayan pasado una feliz vacación. Que hayan gozado de vacaciones también, ¿verdad? Eh, y qué bueno tenerlos de vuelta por acá. Okay, what are we going to do today? It's the grammar focus. This is where we left off last time. References, comparisons with adjectives. Take a look. So, um, the use of one and ones. You say, which one do you prefer? Which one? We use the word one because we don't want to repeat a noun that we mentioned before. So, you don't say which uh, hat do you prefer? If you mention the word hat before, people will understand. So you say, which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one, okay? Which one do you like better or which one do you like more are both possible. So you say, I like the leather one better or I like the leather one more. You say, that one is cheaper than the wool one. Ese es más barato que el de lana. This one is nicer than the leather jacket is prettier than, it looks bigger than, and it's more stylish than. So these are comparative adjectives that we studied uh, last week. So uh, take a look at the spelling. You have cheap becomes cheaper. Nice becomes nicer. Pretty becomes prettier. Big becomes bigger. Some useful expressions. You say the color is prettier. El color es más bonito. The design is nicer. Nicer. El diseño es mejor. Es más chivo, más chévere. The style is more attractive. El estilo es más atractivo. The material is better. El material es mejor. But how does it work? Take a look. We're going to have a review on the comparative forms. Okay. So you have this man. He says, I'm 92. But the lady says, I'm 93. So the man is old and the lady is older. Okay, señor está. Va a sonar feo, pero es la palabra viejo, ¿verdad? La señora está más vieja o es mayor, ¿verdad? Okay, so you say old and older. Está mayor. Bueno. Esta señor, ¿verdad? La señora es mayor. So she's older. So you have heavy. That's 40 kilograms. It's heavy. But 50 kilograms is heavier. So 40 kilograms, pesado. 50 kilograms, heavier, is más pesado. Okay? Then you have $120 for shoes. That's expensive. But $175, that's more expensive, which is más caro. So the forms, older, heavier, and more expensive are comparative forms. Okay? So the comparative form is ER like in older, or more in the adjective, as in more expensive. How does this work? Take a look. Uh, we have some rules, okay? Some rules that we can study. We studied them last time, but we're going to have a review now, right now. So one syllable adjectives. This is, these are the rules for one syllable adjectives. Cuando el adjetivo solo tiene una sílaba, va a seguir estas reglas. You add ER normally to the adjective. So old, for example, becomes older. Slow becomes slower. Nice becomes nicer. Now, take a look at this. Nice, it ends in E. Because it ends in E, you don't need to add an extra E and then R. You just add the R and then you have nicer, okay? So old, older, slow, slower, nice, nicer. 
Now, what happens when the one syllable adjective ends in the combination consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W? When that happens, you have to add an extra consonant and ER. For example, you have big. Big has one syllable and it ends in the combination consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vocal, consonant. So when that happens, you have to add an extra consonant and ER. So bigger is B I G G E R. Okay, the final consonant, you need to duplicate it. Okay. The second one is hot. Hot is a one syllable adjective and it ends in the combination consonant, vowel, and consonant. There's consonant H, vowel O, consonant T. When that occurs, you have to add an extra consonant and then you have hotter, which is H-O-T-T-E-R, extra T. Then you have another one, thing. Thing is another one syllable adjective ending in consonant H, vowel I, consonant N. So that means that you have to add an extra consonant and the comparative form is thinner, thinner. So it's T-H-I-N-N-E-R. So you have to add an extra consonant and then E-R. Ahora, ¿qué pasa acá? Ustedes se fijan. Dice consonant, vowel, consonant, except W. La W es una excepción y aquí podemos ver el ejemplo en la regla anterior. Slow. Slow is a one-syllable adjective and yes, it ends in consonant L, vowel O, consonant W. But W is an exception. If it ends in W, don't duplicate the final consonant. Don't. You just need to add ER. Okay? So be careful because W is the exception. Okay? If it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, it has one syllable, but the final consonant is a W. No, the rule is broken. We have the exception. Now, what happens when you have two or more syllable adjectives? When the adjective has two syllables or more, you can have three, four, five. When that happens, well, if you have a two syllable adjective ending in Y, then you have to change Y for I-E-R. For example, you have this, easy. Easy has two syllables, easy, easy, two syllables right there. And it ends in Y. So you need to change Y for I-E-R. So easy becomes easier, okay? Heavy, heavy, heavy has two syllables, heavy. Heavy, two syllables right there, but it ends in Y, so you need to change Y for I-E-R. So heavy becomes heavier. Heavy, pesado, heavier, más pesado. And then you have early, early, two syllables, early, early. And it ends in Y, so you need to change Y for I-E-R. Then you have earlier, I-E-R, okay? So that happens when you have an adjective that has two syllables but ends in Y. You change Y for I-E-R. And then you have this final rule. You have to use more for adjectives with two or more syllables. When the, when the adjective has two syllables, three syllables, four syllables, etc., then you use more. You forget about the other rules and you have to use more, just that. For example, you have the adjective careful. Careful has two syllables, careful. Okay, the comparative form of careful is more careful. Okay, that's the comparative, more careful. You have expensive, expensive. That's a long adjective. It has three syllables, expensive. So the comparative form is more expensive. No me van a decir expensiver porque eso no existe. Tiene que ser more expensive. Okay? Intelligent. Intelligent. Four syllables. So the comparative form of intelligent is more intelligent. Okay? Comparative. More intelligent. 
And then you have interesting, 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 four syllables right there. So the comparative form is more interesting. And you have some examples. This jacket is okay, but the other one is nicer. Esta chaqueta está bien, pero la otra está más chiva, está más... Mejor, okay? So it's nicer. So this jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. You can see the use of one here. ¿Por qué ocupamos one? Para no repetir la palabra jacket. This jacket is okay, but I think the other jacket is nicer. So you don't want to repeat the word jacket. That's why you use the pronoun one. We have a chat entry here. Salvador Manrique says presente. So thank you, Salvador Manrique. Um, let's continue. Next example. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Okay. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Helen quiere comprar un carro más grande. Bigger. Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. A Susan no le gusta su trabajo. Quiere hacer algo más interesante. She wants to do something more interesting. And finally, you should be more careful when you drive. Debería ser más cuidadoso cuando manejas. You should be more careful when you drive. Creo que por acá está Juan Carlos también. Vamos a ponerle asistencia. Ok. Veo que está Cecia también. Ok, Cecia, welcome. Anybody else? Alguien más? Que se haya unido recientemente. Carlos Edgardo. Vamos a poner presente acá. Ok. Comparative. Thank you, Carlos. Welcome. Okay, the comparative form, special cases. There are some special cases, okay? So uh, you have good. The comparative of good is not gooder, okay? So no existe, si usted dice gooder, no existe. Presente, okay? presente, presente. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Your attendance was taken. Thank you very much. We have chat entry here. Juan Carlos for the, okay. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, the comparative of good is better. It's just like Spanish. En español no decimos eh, más bueno. No, decimos mejor. Es totalmente diferente. So English is similar. The comparative of the adjective good is better. And the comparative of the adjective bad is worse. Okay, worse. Just like Spanish. In Spanish, you don't say malo más malo. No, in Spanish you say malo and the comparative form is peor. So in English, it's a similar thing. The comparative of bad is worse, okay? You have uh, two examples. The weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today, okay? Clima no estaba muy bien ayer, pero está mejor hoy. It's better today. And worse, do you feel better today? No, I feel worse, okay? Me siento peor. Then you have the comparative form of far, which is lejos. The comparative form is farther, farther when it, you talk about distance. Si usted habla de distancia y dice que algo está más lejos, entonces ocupa farther. Example, we are almost at the beach. Just drive a little farther. Solo maneja un poco más lejos. Ya va a llegar. So just drive a little farther. But there's also the word further. The word further is similar, but it means additional. It means extra. It's different, it's not the same. Farther and further are different. Example, we need further examples. We need additional examples. We need extra examples. That's the meaning of further. Some exceptions to these rules include fun. You have fun, fun is a one syllable adjective. It also ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant. But this word is an exception. The comparative form of, form of fun is more fun. Just that, more fun. You have real, real. It's a one syllable adjective, but the comparative form is not realer. No, the comparative form is more real. That's the comparative because this is an exception to the rules. Then you have bored. 
okay? Bored is a one-syllable adjective, but the comparative is not bored. No, the comparative form is more bored. Some examples for you. I love the book, but the movie adaptation was more fun. Me encantó el libro, pero la adaptación cinematográfica fue más divertida. Was more fun. Virtual reality makes video games more real. La realidad virtual hace los videojuegos más reales. Then you have yesterday she was bored. Today she is even more bored. Ayer ella estaba aburrida, hoy está todavía más aburrida. So those are the exceptions right there. So this is pretty much just a review of the contents we studied last week. It was Monday last week. Okay, so it's been a week. Now it's time for the exercises. Let's take a look. Now, what is the comparative form of these adjectives? The first one is heavy. What is the comparative of heavy? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. What's the comparative form of heavy? Heavy is a two-syllable adjective that ends in Y. Ever Enrique, what's the comparative of heavy? Heavier. Heavier, that's right. The comparative form of heavy is heavier. Okay, I-E-R, because it ends in Y. Thank you. What about number two? Big, what's the comparative form of big? If you know the answer, raise your hand. Wilbur, what's the comparative form of big? Bigger. How do you spell it? Is B E B I la G B I y la G se me olvida cómo se pronuncia G G entonces la cuestión es que le agregamos la G y la I y la How do you How do you spell the word B ahí se me perdió bigger ah cómo se letrea How do you spell it B B I no B I E B I R. 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 Okay. Okay. Bigger. It's B I G G E R. Okay. Bigger. Okay. Thank you, Wilbur. What about number three? Slow. What's the comparative form of slow? It's the comparative form of slow. If you know the answer, raise your hand. Maria Lourdes. It's slower. How do you spell it? S L O W. And E R. E R. Yes, slower. S L O W E R. Slower. Correct. Good. What about number four? You have expensive. What's the comparative of expensive? Saul Ernesto and then Enrique Perez. Expensive, more. Can you repeat it? More. More what? More expensive. More expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive. Yeah, thank you, Saul. Good. Enrique Perez, what about number five? High. What's the comparative form of high? Uh, more high. More high. Mm, not really, yeah. because high is a one-syllable adjective. So what's the comparative form? Okay, no problem. Who can help Enrique here? If you know the answer, raise your hand. What's the comparative of high? What's the comparative form of high? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Wilber. Cuando es de una sola sílaba, siempre le vamos a agregar este la e y la r e r e r so what's the e comparative what's the comparative form is he he her okay the, the, the pronunciation is high high so what is high. the comparative eh, alto y más alto me imagino mm -hmm. but how do you pronounce it 
si sabemos que la forma base del adjetivo es high, ¿cómo será el comparativo? ¿Cómo no? Solo es high y le agrega her. Entonces. Higher. Higher. That is correct. The comparative form of high is higher. Okay. High, alto. Higher, más alto. María de Lourdes. Number six. Dangerous. What is the comparative more, form? More dangerous. More dangerous. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So, you have the rules here. Thank you. Uh, heavy becomes heavier. Big becomes bigger. Slow becomes slower. Expensive becomes more expensive. High becomes higher. And dangerous becomes more dangerous. Those are the comparative forms. Aquí pueden verlo. 40 kilograms is heavy. 50 kilograms is heavier. This house right here, this house is big. But this house is bigger. The turtle is slow, but the snail is... Well, probably, okay, the snail is slow, but the turtle is slower. Uh, $350, that's expensive. $470 is more expensive. This mountain here is high, but this other mountain is higher. And this road is dangerous, but this other road is more dangerous. Now, what is the comparative form of heavy, for example? What's the comparative of heavy? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. The comparative form of heavy is heavier, right? What about strong? What's the comparative of strong? Heavy. Stronger. Stronger. Yeah, that's right. What's the comparative of happy? Wilbur. Happier. Happier. Okay, I-E-R. What's the comparative of modern? Vamos, participemos. Como cinco personas que me participan hoy. Los demás, no sé. Okay. Modern. What about number four? Modern. What's the comparative form? Modern is a two-syllable adjective. Adán Iglesias. More modern. More modern. Correct. Karen Julisa. Important. More important. More important. Correct. Number six. Good. What's the comparative of good? Maria Lourdes. Best. Um, no. Best is a different thing. Best is a superlative. Better. Better. Okay. Better is the comparative form. Okay. Thank you. Number seven, large. Large is a one syllable adjective. So, what's the comparative form of large? Enrique. Mother large. It's a one syllable adjective. One syllable. Um, Ledger. Larger. Larger. You add only the R because yeah. it ends in E. But yeah, correct. Thank you, Enrique. It's larger. Más grande. Okay, number eight. Serious. Serious. What's a comparative of serious? If you know, you can raise your hand. Wilber. More serious. More serious. That is correct. More serious. Number nine, pretty. What's the comparative of pretty? Ever. Prettier. Prettier. Okay, yeah, prettier. It's a two syllable adjective, but it ends in Y, so you change Y for I E R. So prettier, correct. And number 10, crowded. Crowded. What's the comparative form of crowded? Jose Benjamin. More crowded. 
More crowded. That is correct. Very good. Okay, now the exercise continues and it becomes a bit more difficult. Write the opposite. The opposite. Todos los adjetivos que están en la segunda columna ya son comparatives. ¿Usted qué tiene que hacer? Darme el comparativo opuesto. For example, younger is the comparative of young. So the opposite will be older. That's the opposite. What about number two? Colder is the comparative form of cold. What is the opposite of colder? Maria de Lourdes. Colder. Uh, hotter, right? Hotter. Or warmer also. Okay, hotter or warmer. Okay, thank you, Maria de Lourdes. Number three, cheaper. What's the opposite comparative form? Ever Enrique. More expensive. More expensive. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, very good. What about number four? Better. What's the compar the opposite comparative form? What's the opposite comparative form of better? Wilbur. Good. No, good is the base adjective. You have good, the comparative is better. But you need to tell me the opposite of better. For example, when you have younger, the opposite is older. Colder, the opposite is hotter. Cheaper, the opposite is more expensive. What about better? What's the opposite of better? Fast. What's the opposite? Maria Lourdes? What? Worse. Worse. Okay, the opposite worse. of better is worse. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, good. What about number five? Nearer. Nearer is the comparative form of near. What's the opposite of nearer? Ever Enrique. Farther. Farther. Okay, the opposite of nearer is farther. Good. What about easier? Number six, easier. What's the opposite of easier? What's the uh, opposite comparative form of easier? What's the opposite comparative form? Ever Enrique. More difficult. More difficult, yeah, you can say more difficult. And also there is the word harder because you know, there's easy, facile, hard, difficult, but there's also the word difficult, which is also difficult. So two possible forms, you can say harder or more difficult. Okay, good. What about number seven, slower, Jose Benjamin? What's the opposite comparative? Yes. Faster. Faster. Yeah, that's correct. It's faster. What about number eight? Slower. What's the opposite comparative form? Sorry, it's lower. Lower. What's the opposite comparative form? Who knows? If you know, you can raise your hand. Lower. What's the opposite comparative form? Ever Enrique? Voy a tratar a Fulia. I'm sorry? Fulia. Mm, no, sorry. It's a different adjective. <laughs> but thank you for trying. What about number eight? Low. Low means bajo. ¿Qué es lo contrario de lo bajo? Lo alto o elevado. So, what is the opposite comparative form of lower? Enrique Pérez. Teacher, este... Eh, higher. Higher, that's right. Yeah. Okay, the opposite of lower is higher. Low, high, lower, higher, okay? 
Thank you. Smaller. What's the opposite comparative form of small? Smaller. What is it? Who knows the answer? Cecia. Bigger. Bigger or larger also. Okay, thank you. Uglier. What's the opposite comparative form of uglier? <clears throat> hmm? What's the opposite comparative form? Who knows? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Evan Enrique. Prettier. Prettier, okay. Prettier, also more beautiful. Okay, it's also possible. Prettier and more beautiful. Good. Okay, next exercise. Oh, it's a review. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay. okay, so complete the sentences. You have to use a comparative. So Helen's car isn't very big. El carro de Helen no es muy grande. She wants a bigger one. Okay, aquí vemos el uh, pronoun one, también uso. Decimos one para no repetir la palabra car. So Helen's car isn't very big. She wants a bigger one. What about number two? My job isn't very interesting. I want to do something. What's the comparative? Maria de Lourdes. I want to do something more interesting. I want to do something more interesting. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. Number three, you're not very tall. Your brother, how can you complete the sentence? Hmm? Si alguien conoce la respuesta, puede brindarla. Ever Enrique, thank you. Your brother is bigger. Mm, no, you're changing the adjective. You have, you're not very tall. Your brother is? What's the meaning of tall? ¿Qué significa tall? Alto. Alto. Okay, so what's the comparative of tall? Your brother is higher. Mm -mm. You're, you're changing the adjective. Ahí me está cambiando el adjective tall por el, el, el adjective high. So, so son dos diferentes. Tenemos que apegarnos al que está en la oración. You're not very tall. Your brother is... More but tall. More tall. Tall has is a one syllable adjective. So what's the comparative form? Wilber. A ver, teacher. Toyer. Uh, taller. 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 Your brother is taller. Okay. You're not taller. very tall. Your brother is taller. Taller. Okay. Thank you. Okay, number four. David doesn't work very hard. David does work very hard. I work harder. Yes. I work, okay. ¿Quién dio la respuesta por ahí? ¿Alguien dio la respuesta? Okay, I work harder. Yeah, that's right. Okay. ¿A quién lo dijo? Muchas gracias. Okay. <laughs> okay, so David doesn't work very hard. I work harder. Okay, good. Number five. Maria Lourdes. Chair is more comfortable. My chair isn't very comfortable. Your, yours is more comfortable. Okay. My chair isn't very comfortable. Yours is more comfortable. Jose Benjamin, number, thank you very much. Number six, Jose Benjamin, your idea isn't very good. Your idea isn't very good. My idea is better. My idea is better. Okay, thank you. 
Number seven, this house isn't very nice. Enrique Perez. Teacher sería number seven. The house is not very nice. All house is very nice. Ajá, pero no podemos ocupar very con un comparative. Habría que quitar. Entonces sería, entonces sería este. Eh, our house is nicer. Our house is nicer. Nuestra casa es más chiva, ¿verdad? Ok, our house is nicer. ¿Mm? No podemos ocupar very porque sería como decir nuestra casa es muy más chiva. Entonces, algo no pega ahí, ¿verdad? So our house is nicer. Nuestra casa es más chiva. Thank you. Number eight. My suitcase isn't very heavy. Adán Iglesias. Uh, my suitcase isn't very heavy. Your seat heavier. Suitcase. Your suitcase is heavier. Okay, I E R. Thank you, Adan. Number nine. I am not very interested in art. Maria de Lourdes. I'm more interested in history. I am more interested in history. Okay, that's correct. Number 10, it isn't very warm today. It isn't very warm today. Ever Enrique. It was warmer yesterday. It was warmer yesterday. Whoops, my phone, I must. Okay, it was warmer yesterday. Thank you. Number 11. These tomatoes don't taste very good. Estos tomates no saben muy bien. Uh -huh. Enrique Perez. Lo seguiré intentando, el número 12. Mm -hmm. eh... Frank is bigger. Uh, no, it's number 11. Ah, perdón. Yeah. Uh, vamos a ver. These tomatoes. These tomatoes don't taste very good. Mm -hmm. eh, the older one that's tasted 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 con el la agregando de la otra de well let's let's take a look you have these tomatoes don't taste very good good is the adjective these tomatoes uh -huh. don't taste very good. Estos tomates no saben muy bien. Los otros sabían. ¿Cómo sabían? Okay, the other ones tasted. Tasted good. Uh, no, sorry. The comparative of good is not gooder. It is a completely different word. Uh, who can help Enrique here? Wilber? Better. The other ones tasted better. Okay. Los otros uh -huh. sabían mejor. Okay, thank you, Enrique, and thank you, Wilbur. Number 12, Britain isn't very big. Gran Bretaña no es tan grande. So Britain isn't very big. So um, what about France? If you know the answer, raise your hand. Wilbur. Permítame. Okay. Is France is bigger. France is bigger. Okay, yeah, that's right. France is bigger. Thank you, Wilbert. Number 13, Maria Lourdes. Los Angeles isn't very beautiful. San Francisco is more beautiful. San Francisco is more beautiful. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Number 14, this knife isn't very sharp. Sharp means afilado or filudo. So this char this knife, I'm sorry, isn't very sharp. Alan Iglesias. 
No veo por las letras. Okay. What about now? No veo por las letras. Estoy en el teléfono. Ah. Okay. Ah, ahí, ahí. Okay. Más arriba. Ahí. Solo más que da. Choco. Uh, do you have a chopper? Sharper one, yeah. Sharper one. Do you have a sharper one? Okay, correct. This knife isn't very sharp. Este cuchillo no está muy afilado. Tienes uno más afilado. So you say one because you don't want to repeat knife. Okay, para no decir knife, otra vez ocupamos one, como ya lo estudiamos. This knife isn't very sharp. Do you have a sharper one? Tienes uno más afilado. Okay, thank you. That's correct. And number 15, people today aren't very polite. People today aren't very polite. María de Lourdes. Hello. Words. Okay. Uh, o R S E. Um. But uh, take a look. People today aren't very polite. Polite is the adjective. Amables. La gente de hoy no es muy amable. So people today aren't very polite. In the past, they were. Who can help me here? Wilber? A ver, teacher, uh, more polite. In the past, they were more polite, correct, because polite is a two syllable uh -huh. adjective. Thank you, that's correct. In the past, they were more polite. Great. Okay, now we have to study this the comparative form with than. Hasta ahorita hemos visto el comparativo sin el uso de than. Ahora vamos a ver con than. Que bien fácil. Okay, you have this lady. Mala onda. They say, I'm taller than you. Soy más alta que tú. So, I'm taller than you. So, taller than. Más alta que. Okay, taller than. Más alta que. You're making a direct comparison here. Hotel prices. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she's taller than him. Okay, es más alta que él. Hotel prices per person, per night. The capital hotel is $350. That's expensive. The Grand Hotel, $110. And Western Hotel, $195. So the capital hotel is more expensive than the Grand. El hotel capital is más expensive, más expensive, más caro, perdón. Se me cruzó ahí el inglés y el español. Es más caro que el Grand. Okay, the capital hotel is more expensive than the grand. Okay, take a look. You use then after comparatives. After the comparative form, you can use then. You say older than is mayor que o más viejo o más vieja que. More expensive than is más caro que o más cara que. Y como los adjetivos en inglés no tienen género ni número, puede ser más caro, más cara, más caros o más caras. Okay. Examples. Athens is older than Rome. Atenas es más vieja o más antigua que Roma. Older than. Más antigua que. Okay. Second example. Are oranges more expensive than bananas? Okay. Las naranjas son más caras que los guineos. How are you today? Not bad. Better than yesterday. Mejor que ayer. The restaurant is more crowded than usual. Está más lleno de lo usual. 
okay lo usual. So that's how you use then. You use then after a comparative form. And I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. I need to find a conversation first. Okay, right here. Okay. There it is. Okay. So here's a grammar focus. Everybody take a good look. Preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Okay, same thing that we studied before, but this is knowledge check 3.12. So take a look. Give me a moment. Okay, so uh, you have this. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Van a disculpar que se ve bien pequeñito ahí, pero es lo mejor que salió. Okay, so compare, uh, compare with a partner. You have silk and polyester, okay? Two different materials. Silk is seda, polyester is polyester. So the first conversation goes like this. Which dress is, and in parentheses, you have pretty. You have to give me the comparative form of pretty. What is that? Mm -hmm. If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Ever Enrique. Which dress? No. Which dress is prettier? Which dress is prettier? Okay. The yellow one or the green one? Para qué ocupamos one? Para no repetir qué palabra? ¿Quién me puede decir? Ocupamos one aquí para no repetir qué palabra? María de Lourdes. Dress. Dress. Así es. Para no decir dress, para no decir the yellow dress or the green dress, porque estaríamos diciendo la palabra dress tres veces y se repite mucho. Ok, entonces ocupamos one. Esto es parecido al español, no decimos, ¿cuál vestido es más bonito? ¿El vestido amarillo o el vestido verde? Decimos vestido tres veces. Entonces, para no repetirlo, decimos el amarillo o el verde. Al decir el, se entiende que estamos hablando del vestido. Ok. So, which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Okay, good. What about B? Well, the green one is silk. And silk is, you know, raise your hand, please. So, Ernesto? Uh, the microphone. More please. expensive. It's more expensive. expensive. Algo ahí, more expensive. 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 The green dress, no, the yeah, okay. The polyester, is that the right spelling? Okay, the polyester dress is expensive. Okay, we know that. But you say the silk, the silk dress is more expensive. Now that's a comparative. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si los ponemos juntos? Y decimos, the silk dress is, y aquí viene lo que me dijo Saúl, more expensive, pero falta una palabra. The polyester dress. Saúl. More expensive than the polyester dress. That is correct. Ok. Ahora sí, porque lo estamos comparando directamente con el otro. Lo estamos mencionando, decimos then. Right. So the sil and silk is more expensive than polyester. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good. Yeah, the green one is silk and silk is more expensive than polyester. Ok, good. Thank you. Number two. Who wants to try? Number three. 
number two. Two A. If you know, if you want to try, please raise your hand. Ever Enrique. Is this blue t-shirt larger than the red and white one? Correct. Is this blue shirt larger than the red and white one? Is esta camiseta azul más grande que la que roja y blanca? Okay, that's correct. Very good. What about B? If you know, raise your hand. What about B? Wilber Rafael. Baja la mano que me hace estorbo ahí, teacher. Permítanme. Okay. And no look. Okay. You, see, you can say, I can't see. Okay. Good. Good job, teacher. No. The red and white one is um, bigger than mm -hmm. is a um, medium. Ah, cuidado. Ahí no necesita than, solo bigger. Porque bigger. no está okay. mencionando inmediatamente después con qué lo está comparando. Solo ocupamos than cuando inmediatamente después del adjective que es comparativo, usted menciona con qué lo está comparando. Pero si ya lo mencionó antes, entonces no necesita than. So the red and white one is bigger. Ya está ahí. Okay, it's bigger. It's a medium. The blue one is a small. Mm -hmm. Como miramos aquí en el ejemplo. The polyester dress is expensive. Okay, comparémoslo con el de seda. The silk dress is more expensive. Pero como inmediatamente después del comparative adjective, usted no menciona con qué lo está comparando, entonces no necesita el tan. Veamos el otro caso. The silk dress is more expensive than the polyester dress. Aquí sí, porque usted ocupó el comparative e inmediatamente después va a mencionar la persona o la cosa con la que lo está comparando. Entonces, para unir esos dos elementos, utiliza than. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. So, the red and white one is bigger. It's a medium. The blue one is small. And number three. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Jose Benjamin, Gavidia, Guevara. Uh, uh, look at the pants. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like better? Okay. You can also say which one do you like more. Correct. And B, raise your hand if you know, please. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Saúl Ernesto. I prefer the green coron ones they they're more stylish than. They are more stylish than the what wool ones. Stylish than. Mm -hmm. That's good. I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish than the wool ones. Okay. All right. That's good. That's how you do it. Very good, everybody. Okay. Uh, we don't have much time. We only have a minute. So we're going to go over a very, very quick review on the comparative forms. Just remember, right? The comparative forms go like this. If you have a one syllable adjective, you just add ER, like old becomes older, slow becomes slower, nice becomes nicer. If you have a one syllable adjective ending in consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, okay, you have to add an extra consonant and ER. For example, big ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, one syllable, the comparative is bigger, double G. Hot has one syllable, ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, so you say hotter, double T. Thin is a one syllable adjective, ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. So you add an extra consonant, thinner, double N. 
Now, these are the rules for one syllable adjectives. For two syllable adjectives, two or more, you follow these rules. When you have a two syllable adjective ending in Y, you change Y for I E R. Easy, two syllables ending in Y. So you change it for I E R, easier. Heavy, two syllables ends in Y, so you change it for I E R, heavier. Early, two syllables ends in Y, so you change it for I E R, earlier. And for the rest of adjectives, that have two or more syllables, you have to use more, okay? Sí, so crema. Careful, more careful. Uh, expensive, more expensive. Ya está pensando en la cena. Eh? Intelligent, more intelligent. Interesting, more interesting. Okay, so some examples. Irregular adjectives include good. The comparative is not gooder, doesn't exist. The comparative form is better. And Example, the weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. The comparative of bad is worse. It's not better. No, the comparative of bad is worse. Do you feel better today? No, I feel worse. Okay, me siento peor. So uh, far has the comparative for farther, which is about distance. So we're almost at the beach, just drive a little farther. And there's the word further that means additional, extra more okay we need further examples we need additional examples we need extra examples we need more examples and some exceptions include fun the comparative is not funner it doesn't exist it's more fun the comparative form of real is not realer the comparative is more real and the comparative form of bored is not border border no it's more bored okay so you have to be careful with those all right, I'm going to call attendance now for the last time. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes, are you here tonight? Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Presente. welcome. Uh, Ivan Alexis Rodriguez Asensio. Alguien sabe qué pasó con Ivan Alexis. Uh, Jose Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Jose Amilca Reyes Cruz. Jose Valentín Rivera López. Jose Valentín Rivera. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Iber Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Okay. Okay, we finished our class today. Acuérdense, por favor, vayan trabajando en la plataforma. Si es posible, terminen ya la unidad 3 y trabajen en el midterm. Acuérdense también de que en este nivel tenemos clase los días viernes, así que este viernes hay clase y el otro también. Okay, para que terminemos cabalito ya la otra semana. Con eso ahí terminamos. Mañana concluimos esta sección y el día miércoles comenzamos la sección 4. Ok, así que no se vayan a atrasar, ¿de acuerdo? Everybody, thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night a todos. Good night, everybody.